Alicia Wilson here on my channel. Like I said, we're going to be talking about some mental health. So we're going to be talking about nine myths of depression today. First myth of depression. Depression isn't a real illness. People believe sadness is a weakness. Not true. This is a complex mental disorder. No. No. Um, it, I don't think this. No. You don't think But this. it is a complex mental disorder. Yes, it is. It's not something that you can just make go away by getting up and being more attentive. Mm -hmm. uh, depression is a lot more than what, what meets the eye, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, myth two. Antidepressants are always a cure. Depression is treatable. Antidepressants help brain chemistry, but does not cure you. You have to work on it. I do agree with that. Medications are not always the cure, but they do help you with your struggles during daily life interactions and it does help you with anxiety but you also do need to work on depression uh, you always can't count on medication to always help you so. agreed okay so <laughs> number three you can simply just snap out of it no one chooses to be depressed people may think it can be cured in a change of an attitude do you agree with that Okay. I don't agree with that. Positive thinking does lead to positive behavior. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it doesn't, but if you're depressed already, you can't just necessarily get out of that by having, you're going to have medication, you're going to have treatment, you're going to have all the options you need to help you with your care. Positive attitude helps, but I don't think it's always the whole answer. So number four. Okay, it happens because of a sad situation. Unexplained sadness, or hopelessness, or lethargy. 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 You may uh, experience suicidal thoughts. It's not always a sad situation. I just think sometimes depression can just happen out of anybody, even if like- and Out of anywhere. Out of just out of anywhere. It doesn't have to always be in a sad situation or a traumatic experience, even though that's what a lot of people do seem to think, but it could just happen to anybody at any time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like you could be randomly just having a good time and then all of a sudden... Oh. This is Natalia. Hi. Can't see you. <laughs> I'm Natalia. I didn't know the camera was this slow. Yeah, yeah, I was no, just no, saying, no. Okay. I was just saying that, you know, like... Having depression could mean that, you know, you're happy one second of the day and then two seconds later you could be the most down, depressed person in the whole entire world, mm -hmm. you know, and these things do happen. Don't expect it to be a, you know, a thing where it can heal on its own, where, you know, it needs medicine, it needs love, it needs treatment of its own to get better. So don't don't feel discouraged if you actually do have depression. Thank you, Natalia. Okay, okay. number five. Uh, if your parents have depression, so do you. Experts are not sure how significant genetics are in determining depression. Well, uh, I think it can happen either genetically or it can happen not genetically. Correct? Correct. I genetically think so. modifying due to a situation. Body, yes. Due to a situation, it could be like that, not just genetically. And I think the people assume that because actually, like alcohol is a you know what? Thing. I was taught that in college, so it's recently changed over the past five to ten years that it's not actually genetic. But I don't think they have all the information mm -hmm. out there at the beginning. So yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it's like alcoholism. Even though, you know, because you're depressed, oh, you're uh, still gonna find another substance like alcohol, self harm, whatever, whatever your addiction is. Mm -hmm. um, Six. <laughs> Antidepressants will change your personality. People with depression begin to feel like themselves again, but there are other options for treatment. Yes, I agree with that. Um, like I said previously, and whatever number we were at, antidepressants aren't always the answer, but it does help you with your mood, and it does help you try to do things that you used to like to do. But I don't think that's true. But I don't think, yeah, personality, I don't think it really changes your personality. It's I, nothing to do with it. And it's really nothing to do with personality, per se. It's more like trying to uplift you and being able to do more stuff for you that is healthier, as in an alternative therapy, as having a regular therapist, so. Yeah, yeah maybe you feel like yourself again, but there's also treatment for your illness. You mm -hmm. should be getting through counseling, psychiatry, 
um, and maybe in other special treatment like if you're borderline or whatever else, Bipolar sometimes whatever. DBT mm -hmm. instead of regular uh, behavioral therapy uh, might be a better fit for you. So there's different forms of therapy that yeah. are out there. So it's not just one therapy. It's so good to explore them. Good too. to explore different therapies. Number seven. seven. You'll be on an antidepressant forever. You may not need to be on them forever. This is just another alternative therapy that can help you cope better. Okay, so we were just talking about this because I had mixed thoughts about this. Uh, you can be on forever or you could not be on forever. It really depends on where your depression is and if your depression is less, you know, like lower than other people's depression and what kind of illnesses you have. Sometimes you have depression due to also having other illness. You can be or you cannot be, but there is other forms of therapy as well, but I would suggest using them hand in hand. Nice. Eight. <laughs> oh, we're on eight. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Depression only affects women. Many men are not comfortable talking about or asking for help. Women is kind of more easier. Men try to tough it out, I think, more so. But it does affect men as well, such as like self-harm. We only think that women self-harm. Men also self-harm and have depression also. And they just sometimes, depending on the person, have a harder time talking about it. Here's a little tip to maybe women do experience depression a lot more because they feel a lot more emotions and have a lot more things going on than men but it also affects men too i think it does yeah sometimes even worse off than women sometimes i believe yeah yeah mm -hmm. so final one number nine. nine finally okay so talking about it may only make things worse it may help to talk about it more with like like a therapist that is non-judgmental or even a friend that you don't know yes good for someone you don't know because then like you don't have all those extra feelings that go along with it. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about things, okay. Sometimes it makes, it, I think most of the time it makes it better, but sometimes it can make it worse depending on what your stability is. And also if you're experiencing trauma uh, or any uh, domestic violence or stuff like that, that you were going to talk about that has made you sad, then you have to, it has to be done in a certain way. The counselor has to be experienced in certain type of trauma therapy in order to help you. If they're not, then maybe it could go a little sour. But most of the time, it's helpful. I think 99.9% .9 of the time. Yeah, it depends on how you're going to work through the uh, trauma. Thank you guys so much for watching and checking out Catherine Movies Official. And thank you to my friend Anisha Wilson. Mm -hmm. You could also probably check you out on Facebook too because you do unique as well. She's mm -hmm. my sponsor, so mm -hmm. we're unique. And uh, thank you guys so much for staying tuned for my channel. I know it has been a super long time. Thank you. It was fun. Yeah, so thank you guys so much Bye. for joining. And we will see you soon. And I will be doing more mental videos. Bye, everybody. Bye.